Today I got an HP laptop. I have to do several repairs and an upgrade on the inside. I'll show you what I mean. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I have an HP 15.6 inch laptop that needs several repairs. Um, the model of this unit is a 15-AU057CL. Um, it's got a hard drive in it that's unbelievably slow. So we're going to do, I'm going to do an SSD upgrade. I'm going to clone his, I'm going to remove the hard drive, show you how to do that. I'm going to clone it onto a brand new Crucial MX500 series, two and a half inch SATA SSD. Okay, you could go with a 500 or one terabyte, but he just wants to go with a 250. Doesn't have a whole lot of stuff on here, but it's very, very, very slow. Um, the other thing that needs to be done is I'm going to put a new CPU cooling fan in it. I'm also going to replace the battery. The battery is a little puffy, swollen inside, and the, even on a full charge, he says he gets about 30, 45 minutes at best out of it. So we're going to pop in a new battery. So I'm going to open it up. First thing I'll do is I'll disconnect, get rid of the old battery, and I'll wait to put that in last after I do the fan and the hard drive replacement. So I'm going to flip it over. I've taken out most of the screws already. I usually do that off camera, but along this uh, uh, back rubber strip here, we have to peel this up. The one in the front you don't need to take off because there's four screws right here that are easy to get to. You can use a number zero magnetic tip Phillips screwdriver would work best. Let me turn my camera a little bit guys, sorry. Um, but on the back one here, just get a real sharp tool that'll get underneath the rubber bumper here without burgering up the finish. Just like that. And right here is a screw hole underneath, okay? So let's get that bad boy out of there. Come on. No, you dirty booger. <clears throat> Not cooperating just a second. I got a better idea. Remagnetize this. There we go. So I always just lay the screws out kind of in a pattern how I took them out because on this one, these two screws in the corner here, where the hinges are, they're a little little meatier, so you want to make sure you get these bigger screws back in the these back corners by the hinges, very important. Basically, they won't fit anywhere else. So I'm going to cover that back up for the moment. If that doesn't stick back down, you can take a little bit of adhesive, a couple little micro specks of super glue on the ends, maybe one in the middle to help hold it in place, no big deal. So this screw here holds the optical drive in. I've already taken that out, so we're going to carefully slide it out, just like that. And there's no screws under here we have to worry about. So with all the screws removed, now I'm going to take my trusty blue triangle spudger tool here and I'm just going to get in the seam here carefully along the top edge here facing up. And just kind of work it loose. And that bottom cover is going to pop off, not the palm rest, so to speak. I've already been inside and got a lay of the land. That's how I know the battery's all kind of puffy, but I'd like to show you how to get into these because they're all just a little bit different. So now that we got it <clears throat> started here, you can see it's coming, but you don't want to force it too much. Always be weary of what you stick in here and how far you stick it in, guys. Very important. Actually, this side I think will come off better first. Just gotta get a tool in here. Ah, come on. Being stupid and don't want to jerk on it too hard. You and I get a little impatient sometimes. Over here by the there we go. Just gently but firmly remove it. Like I said, you don't want to be sticking tools in here because you never know. You got speakers and different things like that. So anyway, here's our cooling pan that just doesn't work. Um, so I'm going to replace that. Here's the battery. I'm going to unplug it right here from the battery. And here's the hard drive I'm going to take out. So first things first, you know, it's, it's really hard to tell. Let me see here if you can see that battery is getting a little on the puffy side. So anyway, there's three, four, 
one, two, three screws to get the battery out. So let's go ahead and take those out. Now be very, very careful because there's still power going to this. I'm not sure if I can get that unplugged. Let's see if I can unplug it. It unplugs right from the back here. It unplugs from the motherboard. Unplugs from the motherboard right here and unplugs from the back side of the battery right here as well. So let me see if I can get it just disconnected right from the battery. <clears throat> there. So I got it disconnected from the actual battery, just like that, guys. All right, so let's get the rest of the screws out. Just don't want to be dropping screws over here on the <clears throat> motherboard. And one more. And like I always say in my videos, don't touch anything you don't have to, guys. And always protect yourself from static discharge. Be very mindful of that when you're working inside your laptop. So there's our kind of crappy puppy battery. So I'm going to leave, <clears throat> leave that out for now. Um, these hard drives are in, it's got two little rubber caddies on each side no screws and it's basically a friction fit but we're going to disconnect the cable from the main board right here just going to flip that little like lever up like that very carefully and you're going to pry it up from this end because it slides back in underneath over here it's got these little tabs right here that slide in like that and i hate these because they're very difficult to get back in so I'm going to get this out because I'm going to clone this hard drive. I'm going to do it over on my cloning station, guys. I got lots of lots of videos on different cloning methods, so you can check those out. Uh, depending on what brand of drive you're um, putting in, uh, solid state, you can use the manufacturer's free cloning software. In this case, with, with Crucial, they have the Crucial Acronis True Image you can download for free from their website. If you want to do it you know, with a dongle, a USB to... SATA dongle, get rid of the cable here. Put that back in there for now. So I'm gonna clone that in a minute, but while I'm right here, I'm gonna go ahead and get the battery, or the fan out of here. It unplugs from the motherboard right here. The wires are really tiny, so you gotta be very careful unplugging it. They don't always come out the easiest. Ah. Just gonna pull it pull it back this way to get it disconnected there just like that and kind of be mindful of how the cable goes back in you know so when you put the new one you get you're not trying to plug it in the wrong way that's always frustrating and then we got three mounting screws for the fan one here one here and one right here okay pretty straightforward hand screws out of here there is another memory expansion slot right here so you could it's got eight gigs of memory in it right now you can put another eight bump it up to 16 he didn't want to do that I suggested it but he's gonna be fine with the solid-state drive because it will make a big difference this fan should just lift right out of here just like that so there's our bad fan might as well go ahead and Make sure I got the right fan. <laughs> I'm plugging these back in. I'm going to plug it in before I mount the fan. I got a little more wiggle room. It said the, the, the cable only plugs in one way. Yeah, we're going to set it right back in place. Yes, it fits. So there, we got a brand new fan. Might as well put the screws back in. But I see it. The color of the floor in my shop isn't very conducive to finding dropped black screws. <laughs> but I found that one. So anyway, we got the pan in there. <clears throat> pan in there. We got it plugged in good. Just make sure it's in all the way, guys. 
which it looks like it is. So now we're going to leave that. I'm going to go over and I'm going to clone the hard drive, mount that back in there. The last thing I'll put in is the new battery. Fire up. Hope we got a good clone. So I'll be back in just a few moments. All right, guys, I'm back. The clone went well. It didn't take too long. I'm going to get rid of Mr. Hard Drive and I'm going to mount our drive back in here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and plug the cable back in. It only goes in one way. Always be gentle on these cables. Like I said, these little rails along the side, they got little nubs on the side that pop into the screw holes. And these little tabs at this end, the slide back underneath the little notches in here. So make sure you get these back on the right way. And then I can try to wrestle it back in there. Just got to kind of hold, pinch it together while you're putting it back in. I just don't like these at all. So I know I'm going to be in the way, but So I'm sliding the, this in first, then I'm going to try to work it back down. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Now I'll go ahead and plug it into the motherboard. Flip up that little black lever. Be very gentle on those. So make sure you get it plugged in all the way the first time. Nothing worse than have to open it back up because the cable wasn't seated. All right, so we got drive mounted back in there our ssd brand new cooling fan now we're going to insert the battery that last step and this only goes one way we're going to plug our cable in right there it's a bp02 xl battery i'll have that down below in the description for you for this model um, they got a 03 xl this is a 02 so once I plug that battery in, guys, you want to be very careful what you touch and where you touch. Just make sure you get it plugged in all the way. They go in pretty firm, so just want to make sure it's in all the way. There. Just carefully set it back in place, hopefully. There, kind of lines up, drops right back in. So carefully, I'm gonna re get our cable where it's supposed to go here. Back around, there's a little channel for it to ride in right here. So make sure you get it seated back in there so nothing's pinching on it when you put the bottom back on. Like I said, be careful with your screws. You don't drop them someplace you don't wanna drop them. because there's juice flowing in there now. The battery's gonna have some kind of a charge in it. Usually they're around 30, 40, 50%. Just depends, I guess, where you get it. And the last one goes right back over here. All right, so we're good there, we're good there. We're not adding more RAM, but there is a slot in here to do it. So, looks good, nice and clean now. So we still don't know for sure if our clone's gonna go. I think it will. We're gonna pop this back on very carefully. Just gotta make sure everything's hooked up. <laughs> so, like I said, guys, check out all my cloning videos, I got a lot of them on different cloning methods, different models, different brands, different types of software. Just depends on how I do it. I just prefer to do them in my cloning station over there. It goes really quick. No fuss, no muss on any given day. But I do a lot of videos to show you how to do it if you're doing it at home. So you can check those out. Um, I'm not going to put all the screws back in just yet. I always kind of wait till last. But I will put the optical drive back in there. So our drive letters are the way they're supposed to be. I guess I can pop that in. I'm pretty sure the clone's going to be fine. Pretty simple little repair job. New fan, new battery, faster drive. Let's see if that battery's got any charge in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the power button here and see what happens.
got the power cord right here in case I need it. But I'll get that battery all charged up for, for him and going to tune it up, clean it up, and that kind of stuff as well. And now it's saying this, reboot the system. That's normal because the configuration has changed. I'm not too concerned about that. Might have to go into the BIOS, but we'll see. Get that a lot on these HPs when you put in a new drive. <clears throat> There we go, so now it's booting, which is good. Just did that because we got a different configuration, a different drive basically, the boot manager and all that, so there. Uh, I'm gonna be blurring out this background here, guys. Sorry, there's just stuff there that I really don't want you to see. And I gotta put in the magic number. There we go. Let me plug that power cord in there just to see if our batteries get that down. There we go. Battery charging. All right. So that was a successful little upgrade, and hopefully that fan will kick on when it needs to be. And so there we go. I appreciate y'all watching, guys. Like I said, smash, check out my other videos. Smash that subscribe and like button. That would be awesome. Thanks for watching and have a great day.